Hi witches, welcome back to the channel. Once again, this is Hectarios, Witch of the Realms. So for this video, I'm kind of feeling the Halloween Samhain vibes and wanting to just do something along those lines. I haven't really done any sort of paranormal videos in a while, so I decided to go ahead and do a session with one of my haunted dolls for this video. So I've had it for like a few years now. I love this little like adorable sweater thing that she came with. It's so cute. But yes, her name is Elsa. I did do her face a little bit. That's why, you know, her eyes and stuff look like that. But um, this is a very old doll. You can see how old it is. If you look at her skin. Feet pics. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so yeah. We're going to do a session with Elsa for this video. Sorry, my chair squeaks a little bit. But um, we're also going to make this a little bit of a experiment video because I'm going to be trying out some new apps that I got for like EVP ghost communication as well. I still have the Necrophonic app, but I got some new ones that I want to try. One is called Paratech. There's also another one called Paralys, which is like a Ovulus, but in an app form for your phone. Paratech and Paralys are both free. Necrophonic you have to pay for and the Miracle Box is one I want to try as well. I saw that from the um, Huff Paranormal YouTube channel and that guy created this app, the Miracle Box. So I'll be trying that one as well tonight. And I also have the K2 that I will be using. I'll just turn it on and set it with Elsa and see if she'll spike it. You guys know, if you've been following my channel, I've been delving deeper and deeper into physical mediumship and wanting to facilitate that more. I did like take a huge break with that for like several months, let's be honest. One of the things that I had read about and came across in my studies again and again was the use of sitting in red light when you sit for a seance with physical mediumship it's common or was common to use red lights as the only light source for some reason that is said to help the spirits manifest more so i bought these color changing lights a while back with that intention of using them I do find that I do change the colors a lot just for fun um, and also I do set the colors when I'm doing like different spell work and I use color magic in that way often um, with these color changing lights so that's just a tidbit I'm throwing in the video um, something you guys might want to look into for yourself if you want to do color magic in your ritual space I find it very helpful and it really does help me get into the mood better. But um, the main reason why I bought these color changing lights was to do them red and use it for, you know, medium, physical mediumship and sitting in the red light for that. So I'm going to go ahead and get in our aesthetic. This is the screen, actually. Scanning stop. Okay, yeah. So this little button here starts and stops the app from running. There's a speed thing here. I don't know what that does, honestly. I have no clue yet. Let me turn it back on. Scanning. And then we'll just set it back here. Hello, Elsa. Can you try to speak with me through this device here? 
and let me know that you're here with me. This is very strange. The doll's name is Elsa, but the app says Edna, so that's kind of interesting. Can you try to speak with me through this device right here and let me know that you're with me? I see your energy is spiking the EMF meter, so I assume that you're here. First. Wow. The Perilous app just said thirst. And that's interesting. I haven't worked with this doll in quite some time. So basically I've not been giving any offerings to her because I haven't been working with her at all. So it's interesting that it says thirst. Paranormal. Okay, the app just said paranormal as well. Um, I'm just going to put this little offering thing, jar, bowl, whatever. I'm going to put some water in it. Okay, the app just said YouTube. That's interesting. Since I'm recording this video for you guys. But I was going to say, I'm just going to offer some water now. Since it mentioned thirst. Since I haven't given any offerings. In quite some time. Okay, I offered you some water Elsa. You can partake of this. To gain more energy if you need to. Are you happy with this water? Are you angry that I have not given you any offerings in several months? Remember. Do you remember me? Or are you telling me to remember to give you offerings? Hidden. What is hidden, Elsa? What do you mean? Send. Save. I'm not sure what that means. What are you trying to tell me, Elsa? Cross. What about a cross? not too sure about this app guys like i said this session is sort of an experiment just testing these different apps that i wanted to try out not really sure how i feel about the perilous app so far okay guys i don't know when this stopped recording but this did just say satan so window now it says a window Kind of creepy to be honest um but i'm not really sure how i feel about this app i don't know if it's really working out for me or not with this session seems pretty random chuck. it says chuck again so there's that yeah i don't know i'm not feeling the vibe Harry. Now it says Terry. Uh, I'm not really feeling this app. It doesn't really feel like it's connecting. It feels like it's just saying random words. So I'm gonna go ahead and change over. Scanning stop. Paradise loaded. 
Hi Elsa, can you try to use this device to communicate with me? Nice. Are you here with me now? No. <laughs> no. Elsa, do you remember me? Diego. Diego. Uh, that's not my name, Elsa. It says okay. The app pronounces it. Alexander. Okay. It says Alexander. That's not my name either, Elsa. Can you say your name? Nana. Nana. Interesting. Morris. No. Elsa, can you say something very specific so that I will know that it's actually you communicating with me through this device? Elsa, are you there? Rapture. Rapture. Oh. Underline. Let's see if we can test this. Elsa, can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? Great. Can you see me? said you, sort of semi-intelligent at least. Fell. Can you see how many fingers I'm holding up? It's. It's. How many is it? about this app either guys. Recluse. Recluse. Now I feel called out. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about this app guys. So the speed is up a little bit. December. Elsa, can you try to use this device to communicate with me now? Maybe it's easier for you. Can you say your name? Leather. Time. Can you see how many fingers I'm holding up now? Teenager. Teenager. Also, how old are you? Are you calling me a banshee? Jake. Jake. Jake is a banshee. Thirst. Thirst. That's interesting. This is now the second app that said thirst. So there might Seeds. be something coming through with that. I got you this water here. It's an offering to you. you can walk where? Eight. Zero. Eight. Zero. Haunting. Haunting. I don't know, guys. You win. You win. 
What does that mean? So that was the Paratech app. Didn't really feel like there was much coming through, if anything at all. Let's go ahead and try the Miracle Box. This is the one that I had to pay for, like $3. This is what this app looks like. It looks like you can choose a different sound bank. Yeah, there's like different options of the voice type. So for Elsa, I'm going to choose like a young like girl. It's already on a female child, so I'll just use that for Elsa. This is what it looks like once you press start. So I'm going to have to like look at this for a second and see what exactly all this means or does. Seems like it's just automatically going and you just turn the voice up or turn it down to hear it. Uh, there's an option to record and then stop. There's the settings. So yeah, you can, I guess, record within the app itself and get your audio that way. I'm not gonna do that since I'm making a video. And there's like dry and wet. I don't know what that means. So I'm just gonna leave it where it is. And there's a little bit of, you know, the standard reverb. So it will like drag out the words a little bit make it easier to understand probably. Elsa, can you hear me? Are you here? Please try to use this device right here to communicate with me if you can. Are you here with me now? Elsa, are you there? Can you say your name? If this has said anything so far, I can't tell. Sounds like gibberish this whole time. Elsa, can you use this device to say your name? Okay, I th right there I thought I finally heard something. First thing I've heard so far. I think I hear, I'll have to like obviously listen back to that when I'm editing and all that, but let's see if we can get anything else with this app. Elsa, do you like it here? And do you like the water that I offer to you?
hearing like some tapping or something back over there somewhere. What is that? I don't know if that's picking up on the camera mic or not, but I'm hearing like a constant tapping sound over there somewhere. All of a sudden, like I haven't been hearing that at all this whole night and now I'm just hearing that over there. Um, and I think one of the apps did say tapping earlier. So that's kind of interesting. I have no idea where that's coming from. So there's that. Uh, let's try with this app a little bit longer. Elsa, can you please speak to me through this device? Put your energy into it and try to speak to me through this device here to let me know that you are in fact here and able to use this to speak. How are you feeling, Elsa? Do you know me? Are you enjoying your water? That seemed like that just repeated the exact same phrase or sound that I heard a while ago. So that's strange. Either that's peculiar or this app literally just repeats the same loop of sounds, which would actually be kind of annoying if that's how that works. I'm going to try the female elderly voice this time. See if there's any difference. Elsa, are you here with me now? And if so, can you please try to speak with me through this device here to let me know that you're with me? Are you here, Elsa? Are you here, Elsa? I'm going to go ahead and try the Necrophonic app. 
just because this is the one that I'm like used to using and you guys have seen me use on the channel before. I've never tried really to communicate with this doll with any apps. Elsa, if you're here with me now, can you please communicate with me through this device? Try to speak to me through it, if you can. And let me know that you're with me and that you're really communicating with me through this device. Are you here? Can you let me know you're here, Elsa? Are you spiking this K2 meter? Elsa, are you here? Can you say your name? I don't know if that said anything either. I kind of feel this like disconnect. Like I, I really don't feel like Elsa's spirit is really even connecting with any of these apps which is um, interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and try to tune in a little bit spiritually and magically and see if I can help facilitate a stronger connection real quick. So I'm gonna take a minute to do that, guys. Elsa, please come forward now. Speak to me through this doll, through these devices. Communicate to me and with me. Speak with me. I invite you in now. I open the door. I allow you and invite you to manifest more strongly in this space here and now. Okay, well, I definitely felt an energy shift with that. So let's go ahead and test and see if we get any clearer or stronger communications now. I don't know if you just heard that. Hopefully that picked up on the mic. Um, but I do feel like the energy just shifted through that. And that is interesting because I did not do that at the beginning of the session. I didn't really do a call and invitation to Elsa. So if you're here with me now, please let me know. Say something through this device so that I'll know that you're here, that you can hear me, and that you are willing to talk. Are you here, Elsa? I thought you mentioned being thirsty earlier. So I offered you some water. It said drink. Are you here, Elsa? Can you say your name? I heard Elsa. Have you been resting in this doll?
Are you still in this doll? Something is. Are you spiking this K2 meter, Elsa? How are you feeling? How old are you, Elsa? Can you say my name? Are you still here? Elsa, are you here? Spike. I just heard it say spike. And I was about to say the K2 meter is spiking more often again. Are you getting stronger, Elsa? Do you have anything you want to tell us? Do you feel better? Okay guys, so it seems like we got a little bit with that. It seems like with every app that we tried tonight, we only got a little bit, if anything at all. I don't know if it's just the energies tonight or the energies with Elsa tonight. I don't know if it's just the apps, the new ones that I got. I don't know if they just suck. Um, I do know from experience with the Necrophonic app though that that has been very successful in the past. So it's odd that tonight it seems like it was barely giving anything. It's odd because it seems like there is something going on with the K2 meter and I just heard a knock on the wall up there by my other doll and those dolls up on the shelf Papa Legba and my hag doll heard a knock up there I will definitely be coming back with more videos like this um, I've been really wanting to get into it again, like I said, so I'm going to definitely be coming back on with some other dolls. We just recently got two more new haunted dolls, so I'll definitely come and try with those. But that's going to be all for this video. Until next time, as always, hell Hecate, hell to the witches, and blessed be. Say bye to Elsa. Bye guys, blessed be.